Hi guys! Today I'm going to be making snow cones in this Nostalgia Retro Snow Cone Maker. Nostalgia sent me the sample so I could show you how to use it. The unit comes with an ice shaving canister, ice feed insert, and a locking cap that you turn right to lock and left to unlock. The insert goes inside the canister, lock the cap, you can fill it with ice cubes, just make sure there's enough room for the lid to go on. Two plastic cones are included, an ice scoop, and the instruction manual. The unit measures 13 and a half inches in height, 10 and a half inches wide, and about 8 inches deep. The cord is about 3 feet long. The unit's light at about 3 and a half pounds. Most people will love the retro look of this machine. It's a really pretty red color. This little shelf is removable and holds two cones that you can buy separately. Just pull it off to remove and there are tabs here that the shelf just slides onto. There's a door on the side of the unit. Open it and scoop out the ice. The canister sits on top of the machine. Fill it with ice. Put the lid on and turn it counterclockwise to lock. Once you lock the lid, the unit's going to start shaving ice. There's no on button. If you want to turn it off, turn the lid clockwise and unplug the unit. It's recommended to shave ice for three minutes and then give it a rest for about five minutes before you shave more ice. The unit doesn't come with any flavored syrups. You can buy the cones and syrups separately or make your own. These I made and it's very simple to make and inexpensive. All I did was boil equal parts water and sugar. Once it came to a boil, I put the sugar syrup in two different cups. Then I added two different Kool-Aid packets, mixed it in, and then just cooled it down. Put it in the refrigerator and you have snow cone syrup. The flavors and colors are endless. The top housing is removable. Just make sure not to wash it, you could just wipe it dry. The canister, cones, and scoop can be hand washed in warm soapy water. They're not dishwasher safe. Be careful when cleaning the canister because of the blades inside. The inside of the unit can be wiped down with a dry cloth. I'm using ice cubes made from a standard tray. The ice should sit outside of the freezer for a couple of minutes before putting them in the unit. The ice shouldn't be frosty, it should be translucent. The insert, the canister, and the locking cap, it's locked. Put the ice in. It stopped by itself. I'll add more ice. Sometimes it does stop by itself, so just going to open the lid. These ice cubes, as you can see, are large. You can also use the bagged ice from the store. I used one tray of ice. You might want to put a cloth down as you scoop the ice because some of it will fall and melt on your counter. That looks pretty good. Mmm. 
it's really good. And that um, Kool-Aid syrup is perfect. Perfect on a hot day like this. I'll make more for the children that are waiting for this. They just saw me eat one and they can't wait to have it. This is the grape flavor Kool-Aid, I think. I thought it was going to be more blue, but it's almost black. But it's really tasty. The red one is a fruit punch flavor. I used all the ice from this one tray, and you could probably make five to six snow cones. The texture is coarse and icy, and that is what a snow cone is supposed to taste like. Shaved ice has a fluffy and snow-like texture, and that's a different machine. Shaved ice tastes more like snow, and snow cones taste more like ice, which is weird because the um, names are completely opposite of what they should be. I have reviewed a shaved ice machine, so if you're looking for that, I'll put a link right below this video. Kids will have a good time making their own <laughs> snow cones and a mess. If you want to try out the snow cone machine, I've put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews.